Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is me, Najari. <laughs> back again, you know who it is. Um, today we are having a let's check in video. So before we get into the topic, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You know what to do. You've been on YouTube for a minute. And today we are having a let's check in video. And it, our topic is how to set boundaries. This might be a long video, so I'm going to hopefully get like some chapters so you can fast forward to certain points if you want to. And I think, I think I said everything I need to say on that. So before we get into how to set boundaries, let's get a definition. So setting boundaries, it means having having limits that indicates what is acceptable and unacceptable behavior towards us, towards you, towards me. Let's do that again because I was rambling on words. Setting boundaries is having limits that indicates what is acceptable and unacceptable behavior towards you, towards me. What is unacceptable? So now we get the definition. Let's start. We will have general boundaries, and I feel this is like a little guide on boundaries you should set, set for yourself. So, what are the general boundaries that I feel you should have? Yes. You will have boundaries related to like co-workers or like your relationships or friendships and it may change. But this is just like a general compact version, I guess. So you should always set boundaries on your space, your energy slash time and body. Repeating, you should set boundaries on your space, your energy slash time and your body. Now, what does that look like? So for space, it could be your home. You only invite people to your home if you're really close to them or you do not invite co-workers to your homes unless we become friends. Or when you're dating, you are not, I am going to drive to the location of the date and he can't come to my house until two weeks, six months, whatever the case is, but it's having guidelines on it. I personally believe that don't invite everybody to your home because in your home you're the most vulnerable you are naked naked you are doing number two you are showering this is your sacred space and you don't want anybody in your house bringing evil uh, bad juju into your house so just be careful on that that's my personal preference now with your time and energy that is all about conserving your emotional energy conserving your time and being more you know aware of what you spend your time on and energy on this could be like in school if you're a workaholic you having a timetable or doing something where you only spend like an hour on mass or 20 minutes on history but having just to conserve like you not sleeping not getting enough food and stuff like that it can also look like you only will text somebody for like 30 minutes or if you want to call with somebody, you will only spend an hour on this call with this particular person. Setting those sort of boundaries. Now with your body, okay? If you are doing the doing things, okay, doing doing things, that could be like you're only you wait until marriage or after two months or six months, then I would be we're doing things we're gonna be doing things okay so please note that boundaries could be flexible and it change over time you can add to it take away from it and you might have strict um strict boundaries or flexible boundaries like let's say a flexible boundary would be like when i said that you only invite certain people to your home or it could be a strict boundary but if you're waiting to do the doing things after marriage then you that's a strict boundary that you have for yourself so you might make make like plans or be more aware of that now how do you set how do you set somebody just messaged me so i have to look at my phone how do you set boundaries this is it first step self-reflect look at situations 
that you had in life that you were uncomfortable uncomfortable with or things you want to change look at go over those like those general boundaries i just told you look at your space your time energy and your body and look at what you could make boundaries on that just to make yourself feel more comfortable in whatever you are the second step is start small as i said before it could change it could grow you could take it back so just add start slow just take your time and go don't just write down a whole list and then just do it one the whole day like you make 10 lists 10 boundaries you want and then you just suddenly change your whole lifestyle to do it you could start with one at a time one at a time until you really have your boundaries set you know what i mean the, the third way is set them early set them early this i would say it you might be later but set them at the right time for you maybe hopefully earlier in relationships like in the beginning if you will have these sort of boundaries already mentioned before your co-workers before you step into a situation now that you have learned and self-reflected try to set those boundaries early now be consistent be consistent with your boundaries don't just like don't just I understand that it may be hard depending on what boundary you have set for yourself but try to be consistent about your um your boundary and take effort maybe journal like if it's a serious boundary that you have set for yourself maybe journal to make sure you hold yourself up to that boundary but be consistent try to be consistent with it now communicate you cannot expect somebody to know your boundary if you do not communicate it tell the person your boundary now you don't have to be rude about it and be like look you can't come to my house so and you just my worker no you ain't gonna do all of that you could communicate it just by a calm, calm tone the best way i say that you communicate it use a calm tone and use a lot of like, statements like i it makes it makes me uncomfortable when x y and z happen i chose to set this boundary for myself i i i i i in my experience and use a soft tone that's the best way i think to communicate it without being rude or bratty or whatever the case is that you would be now one one of my boundaries that i am currently working on is saying no without a reason and not caving in so I'm kind of a people pleaser, but I don't say that anymore because I'm changing, I'm growing. So, but saying no sometimes could be a problem for me. So, I and if I say no, I have to like move for reason. Like if my friend invite me to a party, I don't want to go. I'll be like, I don't want to go because my mommy. I always use my mommy as the escape go. My mommy say I can't go, but she doesn't say so. But. Because I try to make up some smart, smart reason. But it's okay to just say no without no reason. Just no. And not caving in. Meaning if they keep harassing you, you still can stay no firmly and hold it up. And you can't cave in. That's what I'm working on. No. Well, this video is not that long. I don't know if I'm speaking fast or a lot. But it's not taking that long. The next day. How to respond if somebody don't respect your boundaries so first let's look at the people that do not respect your boundaries first we have our manipulators those people guilt trip you into changing your answers they gaslight you into changing what your boundary is especially like guilt tripping where they're like doing too much just guilting you into doing whatever they want you to do then we have the the aggressors or the controllers people that get angry them cannot take a no like them literally will get vexed with you because you said that this is not what you want you understand what you want and they're just going in on you and being aggressive and controlling about the it then we have the self absorb these people don't even acknowledge your boundary they don't even they're like okay all right whatever they may not even they don't even acknowledge it they even like mentally check it in their brain it's just like they just they hear your needs but forget it or just move like they don't exist them only caring about what they want 
You understand? So my golden rule when expressing my boundaries, I tell you three times, and if you don't get it, I leave you alone. Simple, 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 simple. Or, but some boundaries are more strict than others. Like if somebody pressuring you into doing, you know, doing, 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 doing thing, right? The first, that like sometimes saying it once is enough or two times is enough. You don't need to say it three times for somebody to understand how important this boundary is. And especially if you have told them that this boundary is so important to me. If they still do not understand it, baby girl, baby boy, leave this alone, let them go. Or you can also not about doing doing things, but that's something serious. But you, if it's like a co-worker and they're not understanding you, or somebody that not your friend that not really understanding it, you could just be like, hmm, I see you. I will never go wrong with you in that sort of way. Like just making a mental note that they don't really listen but you know how to move with them you, you understand like if you have like if, if it's your sibling or your family that you cannot like, not be around you can make a mental note and then understand what not to say around this person or to just don't carry them in my situation i think i have talked a lot in this video and I hopefully this has helped you in some way. You know, share, like, comment, and tell me if this, if I clicking with you. All right, bye-bye, bye. -bye. bye.